Your opening statement uh, point, uh, mentions great exports, but you don't mention that our trade deficit has gone up by $60 billion in the last year. And I would point out that the entire economic establishment in this country has made it almost uh, prohibited to discuss the trade deficit. And when, and that's why we elected, that's why the country elected Donald Trump president. Um, now, the chair of the subcommittee boasts that uh, we had a good economy in 2017. He's right. We had Obama's fiscal policies, Obama's tax policies, Obamacare, Dodd-Frank, Janet Yellen's monetary policies, and her big balance sheet, and we had a great year. As a matter of fact, we've been on a roll since 2011. We were closing in on having a high enough employment rate so that we'd have uh, uh, a labor shortage and higher wages. We were going well, and so instead of continuing to be on a roll, we've abandoned those policies and adopted a profligate tax and spending policy, uh, throwing away the budget caps, 1.5 trillion plus interest of the debt uh, from the tax bill. But I think that we will still do well because our scientists, our entrepreneurs, and our workers are the best in the world and they'll make up for all the mistakes we're making here in Washington. Uh, I see uh, behind you, sir, the green shirts that call for full employment. And uh, it's not enough to go with the economist definition of full employment, say 4%. We need real full employment that causes a labor shortage and desperate employers bidding up the price of labor. Um, and that is also consistent with the fact that many economists are saying that you should be aiming not for 2%, but 2.5% inflation. That's the kind of expansionary economy that uh, will allow these folks to come back in fancy polo shirts with the same slogan on it in a couple years from now. Now, when uh, we talk about some workers getting a $1,000 bonus, uh, yeah, few have, but a family of five's share of the increase in the national debt from the tax bill is $26,000. What greater proof do we need of the need for financial literacy in this country than that some charlatan can say, here's the deal. I'll give you $1,000, it's money in your pocket, and we'll just slap a $26,000 mortgage on your future. Now, uh, Chairman Powell, in, um, uh, in your confirmation hearings, you said that, uh, I believe, that no bank is any longer too big to fail. I would point out that the biggest banks are bigger now than in 2008 when they came to us and said they were too big to fail, they would pull the entire economy down. We had to bail them out with $700 billion. And I'd point out that the Wall Street uh, prices in to the value of the bank stock, but more importantly, to the value of their unsecured debt, an implicit federal guarantee, an assumption that they will be bailed out. So I have a number of questions for the record, but I will actually ask one for you to, to respond to. We've adopted these profligate fiscal policies, huge tax cuts uh, leading to a massive increase in the deficit number that's right behind you. Uh, then we busted the budget caps. Um, as a, is our monetary policy going to need to be more restrictive this year than it would have been had we not uh, adopted these profligate uh, fiscal and tax policies. Thank you. So, um, of course, when we're setting monetary policy, we're focused on achieving stable prices and maximum employment. And in doing that, we consider many, many factors uh, all around the global economy, et cetera. Um, fiscal policy uh, changes can have an effect, and changes of this size can have an effect. And, um, and that can be seen, of course, in the path of policy. It's very hard to say in advance what that would be, but um, the answer to your question is generally we take all those things into account. So the more profligate the fiscal and tax policies, the higher the interest rates you need to set? Yeah, all, of other, all other things being equal. I would just say our, our own um, job is to focus not on fiscal policy, but on monetary policy, and that, so that's our frame of reference. Thank you for evading my question.
Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.